The back test that we're running here is over 11 years of hourly data on a portfolio of eight products. To get that started, I just hit the test button. And you can see that that's all happening pretty quickly. Churning through a lot of trades there, a lot of market data. So that's 11 years of hourly data that we're seeing there. And once the simulation's complete, um, we get an equity curve. The blue shaded area represents the equity of the strategy. Um, and overlaying on top of that is price curve, which you can't see very well. But if I zoom in a little bit, uh, maybe turn the equity curve off, um, I can make out that price curve a little better. And if I zoom out to these green and red lines, they correspond to the trades uh, that were taken in the simulation. You can see entry point, exit point of a winning trade, um, entry point, exit point of a losing trade. And this plot down here is just some interesting stuff that we told Zorro to uh, plot out as part of the script. So I'll go back to um, the, the, the zoomed out view of all the, da all the data. Um, and I can replay the simulation at my own speed to check that the strategy is in fact doing what I wanted it to do, taking the correct trades, etc. And I simply do that by hitting the step button. And you'll see the strategy will recompile um, and the simulation will start again. Um, but this time it will pause on every bar. So I'm just going to turn the equity curve off. And if I hit step repeatedly, you'll see that um, we step through to the next bar each time I press that button. Um, and down here in this uh, tabular output, you can see some details of the positions that um, Zara is holding in this simulation at each point in time. So I can just hit skip uh, a step rather repeatedly, stepping through one bar at a time. Um, I can also hit skip and I'll skip through to the next trading activity. Um, I can repeat that as many times as I want. And you can see that the data down here is, is being updated um, each time I do that. Um, and lastly, I can hit replay, and then that will just run the simulation at a much more uh, human-readable pace. 